function method name you you can be rest assured that it will not throw any error but it will uh, give you null value if it is not satisfying that condition now there is another method called count uh, count as the name is suggesting it will count the number of records and give the uh, give the value here in this case i have specified uh, the my filter criteria so it is uh, so it will give me all the records from the query one collection whose city is equal to kolkata in this case i am getting only one and there is another uh, method called long account it is same as count but it gives the result into the system.int64 uh, format now if i would not have specified any filter criteria into this count object then it would have given me all the the number of all, number of all the records let's say suppose in in let me write one query here like query one dot count it will give me five but in this case it is giving me one because i have only one record whose city is equal to kolkata now uh, we have another extension method called max uh, as it the name suggests it will give me the uh, max value of the auto id because i have a specified filter criteria auto id here uh, in the same way I, we have a min method uh, this will give me give us the minimum value from the specified column name so in this case i have auto id minimum equal to 4 and uh, maximum is equal to 16 uh, you can see it here in my this collection 16 is the maximum here 15 is there 9 is there 7 is there 4 is the minimum then i have uh, we have another method called order by as the name is suggesting order by sort the collection on a specified field name in this case i'm trying to sort the query one collection on name uh, on, on the name uh, field now we have another method called order by descending note that if you're using order by then it will sort the collection on ascending order if you have to uh, sort into the descending order then you can uh, very well use uh, order by descending extension method by specifying the name and specifying the field name on which you want to sort it and then we have another extension method called reverse that reverse extension method will just reverse the collection so if qd1 the first uh, the first element is 16 and last element is 4 so my reverse list will get the first element and as 4 and last element as 16 you can see so it will just reverse the order of the element then we have a sequence equal another uh, extension method that determines if both the collections sequence are same or not in this case i'm trying to uh, uh, determine query one and reverse list if both are same or not because both are not same because the order of the elements are different so it will give me the false then we have skip uh, uh, extension method that is used to skip a specified number of uh, uh, element from the collection so i have tried to skip the first two uh, element from my collection so it will skip first two and give the uh, rest three you can see it here so skip while what it does is that it skips the first uh, nth uh, element uh, from the collection uh, which is satisfying this particular condition and as soon as you, it finds a uh, element that is not satisfying the condition it breaks the loop and gives the rest of the results so in this case let's see my my, my total number of uh, records in the collection in security one is five because i have sorted into the descending order so this is here you can see it here uh, 16 7 9 15 4 where my these two records are uh, satisfying that condition where city is equal to city has city has what called city and my third record is not satisfying this condition because it is it has a small city so it breaks the loop uh, here itself and it will give me my these three records as you can see it here a skip while auto id 9 15 and 4 auto id 9 15 and 4 now uh, we have another one minute
okay we have another sorry let's come here yeah now we have another uh, extension method called sum and that actually sums up a particular field uh, value so in this case i am trying to sum up the auto id that is e51 in my case then we have another extension method called take that uh, takes a specified number of elements from the collection so in this case it is taking three uh, three elements from the query on collection and it is uh, it is uh, keeping the rest of them it, it is just uh, ignoring the rest of them we have another uh, extension method called then by then by is actually used when you are using order by so let's say suppose i want to uh, uh, i want to sort my collection uh, order by sample name and then i want to sort with a city then i can specify query one dots order by uh, sample name and then by city so in this case it will sort first on the name and then it will sort on the uh, city we have this in, in this particular example i can uh, you can see that you have all i have listed all the uh, all, all the output that i have got uh, from this particular uh, uh, example that I have shown here, uh, I, I, I have I, I will attach this particular uh, page, the sample page of the article, with uh, with, with my uh, post here on .dotnet .com. Please feel free to download and uh, uh, just play with that so that you will be able to easily underst understand it. <coughs> now uh, you can also do custom paging using link. And for that there is a very good post uh, written by uh, someone called Raja here you can just go ahead and see uh, custom paging is done using link uh, with the help of a skip and take a skip and take uh, 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 extension method and there is a very good uh, uh, 101 101 uh, sample on link available on MSDN you can go ahead and, and read those sample in order to understand almost all the ext extension method we have into the uh, uh, in, into the link I hope this article was useful and feel free to uh, write me on uh, or res by responding to this article if you have any question or query or any comment or any suggestions thank you very much for uh, watching this video and keep watching forthcoming videos thanks